I, Edward Cullen, take you, Bella Swan. For better or for worse. To love. To cherish. As long as we both shall live. Rob, it's a pleasure to meet you. You too. So, Edward finally gets the girl, finally does the deed in this film. How does he adapt to married life? Yeah, not, I mean, not particularly well. He kind of, you know, one, he gets her pregnant within a couple of days and then immediately wants an abortion. <laughs> I mean, it's like, he's just all over the place emotionally. He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, yeah, and he kind of, yeah, he gets sort of manically depressed for a while. <laughs> I guess that's how most people feel after they go. <laughs> Pretty fairly typical male behaviour. How many days has it been since the wedding? Fourteen, what? Can you tell me what's going on? I'm, I'm late. My period's late. I guess it is kind of adult. And there's... But at the same time, not really. I mean, it's still kind of fairy tale ish It's just kind of a weird fairy tale. You see all these shows like... Uh, about the teenage mothers and stuff, and it's kind of the same deal. I mean, it'd be interesting if the, if Twilight was younger, if all the actors were like twelve. This would be crazy if that was all. Like, you know, she gets a twelve-year-old gets pregnant with a vampire baby to get married and stuff. I mean, that would be amazing. Sam's lost the element of surprise, and he doesn't want to take you on outnumbered, so he's not going to come at you head-on. He's got the place surrounded, and he'll wait for his opportunity. Now, I've never filmed a sex scene before, believe it or not. Um, but I imagine it must be incredibly uncomfortable. What was it like filming that? It's actually the easiest thing, because everyone's so unco- everyone feels so uncomfortable to tell you like what to do. And so, every- so everyone just kind of leaves you alone. <laughs> you, just, like, you just do it, and they're like, yeah, yeah, that was great. One take, done. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I mean, that's like... So, uh, yeah, it was, it was funny after there was always controversy about, because you know, it got rated R initially and stuff, and... Uh, I guess it was the sort of to do with the exact same thing. The fetus is incompatible with your body. It's too strong and fast growing. It's crushing you from the inside out. You did this. I can't see Bella's future anymore. A lot of the fans have invested quite a lot in the in the series, obsessing over it. And so hopefully this will it will kind of be a nice full stop on it. And it'll be a nice dot of the eye. <laughs> Bella, come on.